be baptized. Acts 2 verse 38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We have come to the English Standard Version and if you'll see the last two words, uh, this Holy Ghost has been replaced by Holy Spirit. This would be a correct translation. That was the earlier one was KGV, which said and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And in the English Standard Version, it says receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peter said unto them, repent. Humble yourselves before God and deeply deplore the sins you have committed. Pray earnestly for mercy, that in justice the anger of God, which should rage, could be calmed down. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptism is an act of obedience to Jesus Christ, who commanded it. Take on you the public profession of the religion of Christ by being baptized in his name and so acknowledging yourselves to be his disciples and servants. Baptism is a believer's public admission unlike the infant baptism without consciousness of the act. For the remission of sins. In reference to the remission or removal of sins, baptism clearly is pointing out the purifying influences of the Holy Spirit. And it is in reference to that purification, the Holy Spirit influence, that it is administered. For baptism itself purifies not the conscience, it only points out the grace by which it is done and achieved. Ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. By baptism we tell others of our new life in Jesus Christ. It is in the baptism that the Holy Spirit is received. The act of the Holy Spirit by whose agency alone the efficacy of the blood of the covenant is applied, and by whose refining power the heart is purified. It was being baptized in the name of Christ that men took upon themselves the profession of Christianity. Amen. God commands, be baptized. That's in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. If you have not already done so, do subscribe to this vlog. New vlog on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday.